Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is omega-3 fatty acids and uh, uh, heart attack prevention, you know. Uh, but before starting the topic, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. You know, and before that we need to uh, know what are the fat, uh, fat and fatty acids and omega-3 fatty acids, you know. So, uh, I will make few videos uh, separately on each like uh, uh, scientific evidence that uh, omega-3 fatty acids help to prevent the heart attacks, you know, and uh, uh, recommendations and uh, uh, but we will start with the video about uh, uh, we need to understand what are the fatty acids you know well you know the fatty acids consists of the chains of carbon atoms linked together by chemical bonds uh, one end uh, of the carbon chain uh, is a methyl group so on the other terminal uh, is a carboxyl group you know and the chemical bond between the carbon atoms uh, can be either it's single or the double bonds you know now the single bonds are have more hydrogen molecules around them than the double bonds you know and uh, three chemical bonds determine whether a fatty acid is saturated or it's unsaturated you know now the fatty acid, acids also uh, come in uh, different lengths and the short chain fatty acids have uh, fewer than six carbons uh, while the long chain fatty acids have uh, 12 or the more carbons you know you know the fatty acids uh, uh, serve as energy for the muscles heart and other organs as the building blocks of the cell membranes and, uh, and like uh, energy storage of the body you know, for the body you know now the fat, fatty acids uh, uh, that are not used uh, as energy are converted into triglycerides you know now triglyceride is a molecule formed by attaching three fatty acids uh, onto a, a glycerol compound uh, which uh, serves as the uh, as a backbone you know and the triglycerides are then stored in the body as fat now the saturated fa uh, fatty acids contain single bonds only so uh, the fats containing saturated fat as fatty acids are called the saturated fats you know and the examples of the foods uh, which are high in the saturated fats include like uh, lard or butter or uh, uh, whole milk or cream or eggs red meat and uh, chocolates and the salt uh, like uh, other stuff you know now an excess intake of saturated fat can uh, uh, rise the blood cholesterol and uh, increase the risk of developing coronary artery disease you know now the monosaturated fatty acid uh, contain one double bond so examples of the foods uh, which are high in monosaturated uh, fat include like uh, avocados or the nuts and olives and peanuts and canola oils you know and the scientists, uh, scientists believe that uh, increased consumption of uh, monosaturated fats, for example, eating more nuts, uh, is beneficial in lowering the uh, low density uh, lipoproteins, you know, cholesterol, you know, which are known as bad cholesterol, and uh, lowering the risk of uh, the coronary heart disease, especially if uh, monosaturated fats are used uh, to substitute for the saturated fats and re uh, refined sugars, you know. Now, polysaturated fatty, uh, fatty acids contain more than uh, one double bond. And examples of the foods which are high in polyunsaturated fats include like vegetable oils, corn, sunflower, and soya. You know. Now, the omega-3 fatty acids uh, are uh, a class of essential polyunsaturated fats, fatty acids, you know, uh, with uh, the double bond in the third carbon uh, position from the methyl terminal you know and the foods uh, high in the omega-3 fatty acids include like uh, salmon or uh, sardinas or trout or herring you know and uh, walnuts or uh, flaxseed oil and clone oil you know now and uh, the other foods that contain omega-3 fatty acids include like uh, 
uh, uh, shrimp or corms or light chunk tuna and uh, catfish, cod and spinach you know. Now the omega-6 fatty acids are a class of essential polyunsaturated fatty acids uh, with the initial double bond in the sixth carbon position from the methyl group you know. And the examples uh, of the food which are rich in omega-6 fatty acids include like corn, sunflower, or um, uh, like uh, soybean and and uh, cotton seed oils, you know. And uh, omega-3 and uh, omega-6 fatty acids uh, are also referred to as uh, N3 and uh, N6 fatty acids, uh, respectively, you know. And the trans fatty acids uh, are made through the uh, hydrogenation to solidify the liquid oils, you know, and uh, uh, heating the omega-6 oils such as corn oil uh, to the high temperatures creates trans fats, you know. So the trans fats increase the shelf life of uh, oils and uh, are found are found in vegetable sh uh, uh, shortenings and in some margins, you know and commercial pastries and fried foods and crackers you know and uh, the intake of the trans fatty acids includes like uh, increases the uh, bad cholesterol it's known as ldl cholesterol or uh, low density lipoproteins you know and it decreases the high density cholesterol which is a good cholesterol and it re increases the risk of coronary heart diseases thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.